It was an extraordinary end to an unusual day. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson walked out of the Prime Minister of Luxembourg's offices just minutes before the two leaders were due to hold a press conference. A crowd of anti-Brexit protesters chanted and booed as he went. Left alone at the podium, Xavier Bettel was visibly frustrated. He'd met Johnson to discuss Brexit, but said the British leader had offered nothing to convince him and other EU leaders to reopen the withdrawal agreement. For me, I just have one withdrawal agreement on the table, and it's the one from last year. There are no changes. There are no concrete proposals for the moment on the table. And I won't give an agreement to ideas. We need written proposals, and the time is ticking. So stop speaking, but act. Johnson said it left because of the noisy protest. He disagreed with Bettel that no progress had been made on Brexit. I think we've got actually just the right amount of time to do a deal between now and the 17th, 18th of October. But as I never tire of telling you, if we can't do a deal by then, and obviously we want to work very hard to do it, if we can't do it by then, then we'll make sure that we can come out on the 31st of October, deal or no deal. Before his talks with Xavier Bettel, Boris Johnson had met the head of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, for a working lunch. But it seems that that meeting didn't go very well either. After the two-hour lunch in a restaurant, the European Commission released a statement that said the British leader had failed to offer any new alternatives to the Irish backstop, part of the withdrawal agreement that Johnson wants scrapped. Outside the restaurant, pro-EU demonstrators had gathered. Many of us have lived here for many years, but we are still deeply concerned by what is currently happening in the UK and what potentially a no-deal exit from the EU will mean for the country. Brexit is a disaster. It will be a disaster for Great Britain and it's also not good for the EU as a whole. The two sides did agree to continue and intensify talks. Juncker said that Europe never loses patience, but the day's events suggest that the EU's goodwill could be running out. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Luxembourg.